boards. And um, we're going to get started here by proving a bunch of theorems. But first, uh, I'm going to try and explain what the theorems is saying, and then we'll spend some time trying to prove it. So in this first one, it says, in the same circle or congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if their corresponding chords are congruent. So I guess we should start out with a picture. There's my circle. Uh, let's, let's call this uh, C. And let's make some a couple chords here. So this let's call this A, B, and maybe some other chord oh, here. And let's call this C, D. Okay. So the theorem is actually saying two things because of this if and only if part. So the two parts are if AB is congruent to CD, then the measures of the arc, arc AB, is congruent to arc CD. Okay. And um, and you know it when we deal with geometric problems we should think about the intuition behind this and all this is saying is if these two lengths here are the same then the measurements of their arcs are the same and you know most people can look at this and see that you know it's probably true but in geometry as well as in all mathematics to say that something is always true we have to demonstrate it with the proof But before we get to the proof, there's a second part to this, because this is an if and only if statement. So the second part is basically saying the converse of this. If the arcs are congruent, then the segments have to be congruent too. If the arcs are congruent, then the segment has to be congruent as well. Alrighty, so uh, I am going to uh, prove one of these directions now. Okay, so I just copied the same picture, and I'm going to prove statement one. Oh, I'm sorry, I realize that uh, I named this point C and this point C, and that's a little bit confusing, so I'm going to call this O instead. Okay, I'm going to call these points O instead of C. Okay, and uh, when we deal with this proof in part one, the if part is the given, and this is what we want to show. So given... Uh, a, B is congruent to C, D, show that the two arcs are the same. Okay. So I'm going to mark the given parts here. So the given that these two segments are the same, show that the two arcs are the same. Now saying that the two arcs are the same is really saying show that the central angles are the same. the central angles are congruent. Okay, So to show that an arc is congruent is really the same as showing the central angles. So what we want to show here is that somehow, so let's make these angles, somehow this angle here has to be congruent to this other angle over here. Okay, So this angle here and this one over here have to be congruent, given that these two segments are congruent. And you can see that after I've drawn in this picture, um, the proof becomes r uh, pretty straightforward because you have some triangles there. Okay, so we're going to show that these two triangles here are, in fact, congruent. Okay. So first, I'm going to uh, construct C, O, D, O, A, O, and B, O. Alrighty, and that is really just uh, the ruler postulate or Euclid's postulate. Then if you notice in here that C, O, and A, O are the same, B, O, and D, O are the same, because they're all just radii of the same circle. So this segment here and these two are the same, which also happens to be congruent to this segment and also to this segment, just because they are radii of the same circle. And then from this picture, then you can see that the two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. So triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD by side, side, side. Kay. Therefore, the two angles, this angle here, AOB and COD,
are congruent by congruent or corresponding parts of congruent triangles, or CPCT. Okay. So, and then because this is true, then arc AB, this arc, has to be congruent then to arc CD. Okay. And this is just the definition of, you know, arc measures. That whenever the whenever the central angles here are congruent, then the two arcs over here as well have to be congruent. Okay. And so there you have it, and it's good to, you know, consider and reflect on this proof a little bit because, you know, what what it's really doing is just proving that two triangles are the same. Okay. It looks like it's something some complicated statement, but no, it's really just proving that two triangles are the same. And in fact, it's a pretty straightforward case just because um, you have a radius here. You can draw the radius and already get two congruent sides. Okay. So I'm going to end this video here for uh, part two. I'll say here that um, for part two, I'd like you to try that on your own. So this part, prove. This part, uh, try on your own. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. But remember to keep watching uh, the rest of the videos on this section.